21 years pilot, judge Jesus. Maybe not, maybe in the past. The Antonio Fortress was destroyed by the Zealots. Remember the Zealots? Masada? The Zealots? Uh, to move with the Romans. Okay? Uh, you need water. There is almost 100,000 people in Jerusalem of the Second Temple period. It's like more than Israeli cities are the same size. I mean, I live in the city that is almost 100,000 people. And can you imagine back then? You need water. So they collected the great water. And there was an aqueduct, a channel that brought water to the pools. So we have seen this pool, Israel's pool. We just came back, came out of here. Israel pool, we saw it. Then there was Strutian pool. We're going to see. Strutian pool is a Greek word. Uh, you translate it into English, sparrow pool. It's mentioned in the Bible, as well as Litostratus. The stone pavement where Pontius Pilate judged Jesus on the pavement. Okay? So this Frutian pool is here. We're going to see it. Uh, there was also Bethesda pool. Or Beit Hesda. Beit House Hesda. Hesed. Mercy. The house of mercy. Ah, somebody showed mercy to somebody there. Mm -hmm. That's why the name. And, uh, and, uh, and here also people were expecting that. When the water is stirred, I don't know what it means. Maybe it was karstic, because Gihon Spring was karstic. You know what I mean? It was like gushing up in different periods of time. It comes water up, then down, then again. And people were waiting. They thought they attributed to this some healing effect. Ah, when the water gushes out, then I need to go down in the water and I will be healed. And you know what? God uses also this. God uses our, our faith. And our desire to be healed. So the Strutian pools, uh, these pools, that pools, these pools, they uh, they were part of the system. What a system that was used that was used in order to bring water to the people. Also, the Israel's pools they needed to wash the sacrifices. We need to wash it. It's all in blood. You can't eat it like that because Jewish people don't eat blood. You Christians also. The only diet that the Christians are supposed to have. Is, uh, is not to eat with blood. The rest is okay. You can eat pork, you can eat whatever, but not with blood because the, the soul of the body is, is in the blood. And uh, that's why they washed here. For example, when we come to the restaurants here and somebody say, medium? We say, no, 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 no medium. No medium steak. <laughs> because they can be blood. <laughs> yes. We don't, we're not supposed to eat. We don't wash our clothes. Jerusalem, Jesus time, Temple Mount, Frutian Pool, Sheep Pool, Bethesda, Sheep Pool, Aha, Bethesda, Sheep Pool, uh, the upper city, the lower city, that's where Siloam Pool, Siloam Pool, or Shiloah, Shiloah means sent. Somebody sent somebody. Go and wash your eyes. He gave him a treatment, mud. <laughs> he thought it was some therapy, but it was mud from the earth. And, and here, this was also a very important pool back then, okay? So, what else? Uh, Eke Homo Arch, yesterday I showed you. When we come out, I will show you again. It's the arch that was built by Emperor Hadrian. This is the first excavations here when they discovered this arch. You said, are you coming? <laughs> <laughs> so, this, this is a date line, 63, the first Roman regions. <coughs> You know that Jewish people, you, you're not going to believe it. Jewish people, after Herod, they said, you know, we're not managing. Americans, please help. Oh, no, sorry. Romans, please help. Please help us. We're not managing. So that's when Romans came. And when they came, you cannot get rid of them. You need uh -huh. to, you, yes. So that's when they came. And Herod the Great became a kind of king. A kind of, because he depended. He was a client king. And then Antonia was built. Then uh, uh, Paul was imprisoned in Antonia. Paul, Apostle Paul. And then he was taken from here to Caesarea. Remember we've been to Caesarea on our first day? Yeah. It's hard to remember now. Yeah. Our first day from Natania. And I, saw, I showed you the place where Paul was trialed in Caesarea. So uh, yeah. Zealots destroyed the fortress of Antonia. That's why we don't see it anymore. And then the whole Jerusalem and the temple was destroyed by Titus. 
Then Emperor Hadrian came. He expelled Jewish people from Jerusalem. Since this period, you see, Jewish people did not live in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Since the second, second century. And yes, and he broke it. What else? That's how probably the, uh, the, the, the arch looked like, the full arch. We see only this part, only half of it. Okay? But I want to show you something very interesting. Oh, here. <clears throat> on the pavement, on the stone pavement, they found this game. And we will see this game on the pavement. Uh, it's a second century uh, pavement, but we we'll close our eyes another hundred years back into Jesus' times, and you find this game that the Roman soldiers played. So the game was like this. The soldiers played the game, and who loses? Give me money. You lost. They throw lots. I don't have money. Then I will give you boom, boom, boom. Uh, I don't want. I have a prisoner. Let's say Jesus is his prisoner. Let him, so they come and they slap him. Remember in the gospel, they slap him. They close his eyes and they slap him and they say, who, who, who slapped you if you're a prophet? Say, oh, they put the crown of thorns and they bow against him. You are the, you are the king. So they made fun of him while playing this game. That's what the scholars believe. This symbolizes the crown, the crown of thorns. This symbolizes the line of death and, uh, and uh, life. If you cross this line, so somebody has to be punished or die. This scorpion is a symbol of the Roman 10th legion, the Fratensis. This 10th legion trial Jesus. They brought him. You know that it's not the Jewish people who crucified Jesus. Well, Jewish people gave him to death. Not all Jewish people, I mean, the, 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 the priests. But, but he was crucified by the Romans because it was a Roman death penalty. And because Jesus predicted that he will be betrayed by his own people and given to the hands of Gentiles, and Gentiles will kill him. So, in my opinion, it's a corporative guilt of all mankind, Jews and Gentiles, those who are under the law and without the law, and ourselves, because when we sin, we, we again and again crucify him afresh. And here, he was given to these Gentiles, and they crucified him. Jewish people never crucified. They didn't have this death penalty. They stoned people. They burned the witchcraft for the witchcraft, or or they beheaded people, but never crucified. This was a typical Roman Roman family. So we will see this uh, king's game on the table. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Oh, just, uh, Watch the ceiling. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Second century, AD. this is the century. AD. You see this side, you see the, the, where, where it is. And the water is still seeping. Look, you can still collect water. And in fact, I heard that until the 19th century, the, the local monk, monks uh, were gathering water here. Oh, yes. Take your pictures and follow uh, me. We're in opposite direction, but it's okay. It's okay. No, no. Already wet from the camera. Just wanted to show you this, these coffins. Who do you think they buried here?
Thank you for uh, letting us be safe here. Just amen. 
how much you have experienced and like showing us what you have gone through for us. And thank you for always being there for us everywhere we go in Israel. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. He is pain here because of his pain and suffering. We are healed. We are redeemed. Now we are here. Now we are we are, we are part of the Abraham's generation. Now we are part of Abraham's descendant. God's de descendant because of you, Jesus Christ. I thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your suffering. Amen. Amen. Amen.